What's going on, y'all? Back with another video, man. Hope y'all having a great day. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to never mess up again, man, uh, when you're making a melody. Um, if you don't have any music theory or, you know, you're a beginner, you know, this is for you. Or, you know, anything. you can be a little more advanced, but if it's something you don't know about or you haven't used yet, you know, this could be for you, too. What I'm talking about, man, is the, the snap, snap to scale feature, right? And you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to get into it real soon. So let's get a VST up here. Um, maybe it's an analogy. Try to, try to use something different, right? Let's go with an analogy. We'll pull that up. This pad sounds cool, right? Go turn it up. It might be good enough for now. Let's actually go with something a little more. Uh, let's ignore that. Let's go with something a little more. Uh, gotta cut through a little more. So yeah, piano. Start off with that. So we'll go to piano roll right here. And what you guys want to do? snap the scale right here click that button and now whatever scale you're in it won't let you click outside of it right so that's one easy way as long as you, you know you're clicking in the right spots to make it sound good you can't hit a wrong note right so you see how all that sounded good even though it was kind of off the timing was off it all was in the right key So that's what I wanted to demonstrate y'all by just clicking randomly, right? So what you want to do is, how you really use it, you'll go down here, once you're in the piano roll, go to view, and then scale highlighting. Now you change the key that you want to uh, be in. This is how you change the key. So we're in F sharp right now. Let's say we want to go um, A sharp. Boom, click on that, now we're in A sharp. Now everywhere you click, it's gonna be an A sharp, right? So, you know, you could make a, a melody easily like that. notes uh same thing There we go. And I was perfectly trying to not make something that was that great. I just wanted to show you guys how you could easily do it, uh, even with chords. Let's go ahead and um, let's try to make some chords. Right? Now you still might have to mess around to see what sounds the best. Right?
makes it easier. I actually like that progression, man. So I might actually say this right. Uh, we'll just call it something. Uh, keys, right? Save it as keys. Might already say that, uh, whatever. Say it as low keys. Okay. As you see, man, you can never, you can, you can never mess up like this. We'll come over here and draw more, right? So same thing. Like I said, you want to make melodies. Let's make it even smaller, right? You guys can see how easy it is to uh, make melodies like this where you, you actually don't, can't really mess up, you know, you really can't mess up. So that's the importance of this snap to scale. It came out a few updates ago, so it's not brand new. Um, I can't remember if it was late last year or early this year, but it's been out for a minute now. So uh, it's just this button right here, snap to scale. 
use that to your advantage, especially if you're new, especially if you're a beginner. Um, definitely you could take your time, learn piano, you know, in the meantime, in your free time. But I feel like, of course, with how fast everything moves today, we don't have two years to just go practice piano and solely do that and learn piano, you know, without making any beats. You can learn piano, but you got to do it at the same time, right? So, um, like I say, definitely still learn piano. You know, by all means, you know, that's what you want to do. Definitely, you know, I, I recommend you do it. It'll make you a better producer. You know, don't get don't get my words misconstrued, right? So, but I'm saying in the meantime, when you want to make a beat, um, you can do this. Um, and, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today, man. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, see you in the next video, man. Signing out.